Hello class. This next video is talking about um, the score report and how it's set up. So when you're looking at a score report, you can look at um, the columns, look at this, the numbers, and understand what they are telling you. So what we did, we just practiced this on Thursday. We looked at James, Jane Smith's scores. So subtests, clusters. I talked about that in the other video. Um, Seven of these clusters, seven of these sub, I'm sorry, seven of these subtests become the general intellectual ability score. So Jane Smith, she's almost 10 years old. So we're going to compare her to what a 10 year old um, does. So the general intellectual ability, the score of 500 would be around a 10 year old, and the W is for Woodcock. So Jane scored a 501, which means she's right where she should be, 501, 500. And you can see age equivalency in the next column. Yes, she's performing a tiny bit better than she should be overall. The next column, Relative Performance Index, talks about how she's generally performing. And this, this score is always over 90. And the 93 over 90 means she's doing a little bit better than we predicted based on her age. Um, the next score is SS. That's a standard score. And I'll talk about the bell curve in one of these videos. You can, you'll be able to see that the score, an SS score of 107 is average. And we'll get into the confidence bands later when we get to the chapters that talk about standard error of measurement. So don't worry about the confidence bands right now but I'm 95% confident that on a good day she would score 119 and on a bad day 95. So her score, her uh, general intellectual ability score is 107, which is average. And what we did on Thursday is we talked about a few of these and really what they mean and which scores are average, which scores are low average, and which scores are high average. What we did point out is that we were worried about her long-term retrieval score. Um, it's 473, which is below her age, um, actually performing at a five-year-old, as well as a five-year-old, and her relative um, performance index, 41. It's not anywhere near 90, so we were worried. Yes, and that score is um, low, well below low average, actually. The score of an SS score of 58 would be low, low, very low average range. Very low average range. So that is kind of the makeup of a score report. You've got your clusters, you've got your subtests, and you can interpret each cluster, each subtest based on the column. And you'll just need to make sure you talk in the language that the column is um, talking about. Standard score which is a derived measure, or you could talk about it based on age equivalency or a relative performance index.